Well, it is a beautiful evening as we sit here back at Lock 39 of the Trent Severn Waterway. And you can probably hear the droning of the generator running in the background. Now, you guys have always been uh, helpful to me and coming up with ideas and suggestions for my, uh, my questions. Um, we have on this boat, as you know, as you should know, as you probably know, is a 4.5 kilowatt Westerbeek gas generator. Now, that generator is uh, naturally aspirated through a carburetor. So, of course, it's not going to be the most efficient as far as uh, fuel burn is concerned. But since we've had the boat, it is uh, it puts out a lot of stinky exhaust, like carbon monoxide type of exhaust. So much so that if we're sitting at the back of the boat, unless there's a nice breeze, um, it kind of comes in there and it's uh, it's kind of stinky. Even sitting here, I'm probably about I'm 15 feet away, maybe 20 feet away from the actual exhaust because it exhausts out the uh, starboard side because that's where the generator is, and it uh, it's kind of stinky. So. With that in mind, maybe you guys got a few ideas. Maybe it needs a tune-up. Yes, I haven't done a tune-up since we got the boat, but I don't think that's gonna really, really help the situation as far as um, exhaust smell. Now, it exhausts out the side of the boat, so it's not exhausting underwater, which uh, some of the newer boaters, that, uh, newer boats that we've uh, come across, uh, the looper boats that have been traveling with us, off and on over this past few weeks. Some of it, some of them exhaust underwater, so you're not gonna get as much of a smell. Now that said, the older diesel powered boats, when they run their generator, uh, cause a lot of the loopers, they'll just run their generator seemingly 24 seven. They'll run them in the locks and they will run them when we're sitting at a lock overnight. Of course, it's, it's awesome. I mean, I got it running right now mainly to charge devices such as the phones and the iPad and, and, and so on and so forth the cameras of course except for this one and um, while that's running we take advantage of that power and I have the air conditioner going as well just to kind of cool it down uh, before we go to bed because I'll generally what we do in the evening is run the generator for a couple of hours just after dinner uh, hot water heater and like I say charge devices get the air conditioning running in there for a couple hours cool the boat down and um, that will make it more comfortable for the evening we've never run the generator all night I would never consider that not a gas bar because of the carbon monoxide death equation there um, but my question to you guys is if you have a diesel powered boat what is your experience with the smell um, apart from what I just explained with the the gas power generator if you're coming into this conversation late, we are looking um, seriously at doing the Great Loop, that 6,000 mile, big, big trip, year long, maybe longer, hopefully longer. And that gas power boat right there, that beautiful boat that we love so much, that I am so happy with, so confident in driving that thing. It's just not gonna cut it, it does not have the range. So we're gonna have to get a diesel power boat. So the boat, that we're looking at is um, you know similar vintage late 90s early 2000s and uh, especially in the Sea Ray line they ran the uh, cattle the Caterpillar 3116s and the 3126s in the newer boats um, I've heard I've heard in the past a lot of negative but more recently in my research, a lot of positive on those engines. Of course, we would need something like that for the range. Apart from that, let's not let's let's not enter that conversation right now, please. Um, your thoughts on the diesel generators? Of course, the Westerbeek on a boat that size probably being around. And I think they're uh, 8,500 kilowatts or 8,500 watts, 8.5 kilowatts on those diesel Westerbeeks that came with those boats. Um, your thoughts on? exhaust and exhaust smell and running the generators because the generator is an absolute must for the boating that we do and of course the boating that we're going to do in the future. So your thoughts on <laughs> stinky exhaust from our gas Westerbeek, any hints or tips that you might have as well as your 
if, if any of you have any experience with a, a diesel powered generator let's again let's please let's just keep this conversation right now to the to the generators i know we could go on and on and on for uh, <laughs> the pros and cons of gas versus diesel diesel versus gas and caterpillar versus cummins and detroit diesel and on and on let's not do that we'll have that conversation another day as we move closer towards getting the next boogaboo and that is probably not going to be for uh a while yet and when I say a while I can't foresee it happening in the next year maybe uh, maybe two years hopefully we'll get that because we'd like to get a boat that we uh, can get and become uh, accustomed to and you know me I'm not just gonna buy a boat and say okay let's turn the keys and go um, there's gonna be work that I would insist upon doing on the boat that would have to be done to bring it up to uh, my standards and what we would need to be comfortable for a long-term journey because that will probably be the last boogaboo boat, our final boat, our our lifeboat. Let's put it that way. It sounds so so sad when you see it that way, but no, you know, for the next uh, number of years that we have left boating in us, um, I think we can find a boat that will last into the future. Let's say the next 15 years, hopefully longer. But whatever, like I say, I'll leave it with you. Uh, any of your uh, comments would be welcome again folks let's keep this civil we're not on clubcray.com after all <laughs> so uh yeah i'll look forward to what you have to say and again coming from a stupendous july evening here on the trend center waterway before we carry on to our next destination thank you uh thanks for watching please uh please follow along hopefully you can subscribe and uh I look forward to your support Thank you. Cheers. Hey guys, really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you're gonna subscribe so you don't miss any of the new content. And don't forget that I also post daily on Facebook and Instagram, so there's always lots of boating content there to check out. Now if you'd like to support the channel even more, head on over to my Patreon page where there's even more unique content as well as have early access to my videos. Don't forget that links to all of my accounts plus a whole lot more can be found at BoatingWithBooboo.com. And again, thanks for supporting the channel, thanks for following our adventures, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers!